replica of the top government officials they were yelling at. He's been the vice president in this country for the last seven and a half years that that narrows it down. Has he really? Are yes. His first name is Richard. No, he's our vice president. He's our vice president. He lives uh, in the Naval Observatory in Washington. Yeah, he's the one. Didn't he get shot by the president? A few of the RNC Very protesters nice could identify you. a couple of the five famous Republicans and one Democrat I showed them pictures of. But most had answers like this. Who's that? This is really embarrassing. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, uh, again, I recognize the face. I can't place the name. Um, something to do with the military, I think, but I, I don't really know. Well, there are some military bases in Florida where he's the governor. Uh, do you know who it is? Oh, that's the governor of Florida? No, I don't recognize him. For, uh, Charlie Chris, you ever hear him? Sorry. No, I don't know. Barack Obama has picked him as his running mate. Uh, okay. He's been in the Senate for a very, very long time, since Nixon was president. Okay. Okay. His initials are JB. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> his first name is like a piece of baseball equipment. A mitt. A mitt. A mitt Romney. Mitt Romney. Who is he? Oh, is this to prove how stupid organizers are out here? No. Oh, okay. Sorry, just checking. I was just, I'm just trying to see if people actually know who they're yelling at. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, so can we go on? I actually don't know everyone who I'm yelling at. He's the governor, former governor of Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to go now because I just... <laughs> All right, thanks. Stay, uh, stay out of the sun. After comparing the protesters in Denver to those here in St. Paul, I got to tell you, they're about equal in the general political figure knowledge department. I'll put it this way. I did not find a phone a friend here. Everybody's got a cause, but many don't have a clue. At the state capitol for Fox News, I'm Peter Ducey. We're expecting 50,000. If they got 50,000, I would be amazed. Now, I thought it was like 8,000. But here was yeah. their mission, guys, because I didn't see much of this kind of a mission. Peaceful, family-friendly march. Well, that, mm. I Is that was why I was running for cover into Walmart or wherever over, I was, Walgreens? Yes, Walgreens. over cement, waste paper baskets. It was ridiculous. Jumping on sure. cars. The, uh, I, I was... Um, I was up at the Capitol before they got started, and there were probably two or three uh, thousand of them. This is video that I actually shot out of our hotel room yesterday as uh, people were, th these are some of the protesters, and in a moment you will see them start to run because there are apparently some of the nitwits, these anarchists behind there, are throwing stuff at uh, some of the police. Next thing you know, they've got these, you hear the pop, pop, pop. Exactly. And it, it absolutely, and, and in a moment you're going to see some of the smoke as well these pictures just off my little handy cam it was it was scary yesterday and a helicopter above our our hotel all night long simply because there were a couple of hundred of these nitwits running everywhere and they were hard for the police to to uh but there's but, but here's, but here's the thing. we had enough law enforcement here i went it's, out just to get some lunch this, no, this is what i ran into right here yeah. i got to get some lunch and i think oh yeah i see some of the protesters all of a sudden they start running up a side street doing this they're all masked I mean, it was really, really a scary experience. My heart was beating so fast. So I ran back for cover into the uh, drugstore. Some of them came into the drugstore, and I thought, hmm, where do I hide? Can you imagine somebody, do you know anybody that would grab a cop's bicycle with them on it and try to take it away? Yeah. That's the mindset. How proud are these parents that their 20-something-year-olds are over here raking, wreaking havoc for no apparent reason? They're also against technology. Yeah. Well, and that's what I was scared of, if I should get on my Here's BlackBerry code. or on the oh. phone and ask somebody for help. I Here's seriously code. was Thanks. nervous about it. Sure. All right. So, it, you know, they did the same, they tried to do the same thing in Denver. This is not, you know, it's not particularly aimed at just the Republicans. They were trying to be disruptive as well at the Democrats. And here they are trying to... There's you know what? Just, here's what I think happens. I think that they think that this is just a place where they can unleash all their anger and rage. And as Peter Ducey found out, they don't really have that much of a purpose. They don't even know who they're mad at. Yeah, they don't really have a clue. Hmm. And they do it on Labor Day because uh, a lot of people have the day off even though they do not have jobs. And the, and the only thing they can do to get... they got to put them in jail and leave them in jail. And I love Mayor Nagin leaving the general population. Just leave them there for a week. What, Let charge, them, them, with, the charge them with breaking something, but, you know, you can't leave them in there for a, a year. Just say the paperwork got messed up. Oh, I'm sorry you about that. You can't do that, do Brian. We, yes, you They've can. got rights. They've got a right to free speech. They've got a right. They had a, a permit they to go ahead and do right that. They don't have a right to jump but on top of police cars and destroy they, them and they scare were the bejeebers uh, out of all the other people. Uh, let's talk about something good. Let's talk about right away, you have the RNC coming up, and you